What I hear often. Wow, you're a really great teacher. It's really impressive all you do for all these kids. What I used to say. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. What I say now. Thank you. I am. And it's hard, intentional work that I do for these kids and families every single day. Hard, intentional, all-inclusive work. Hey, super brave friends and brave accomplices. My name is Joe Koleski, the super brave teacher, and today we are talking about how to have an all-inclusive classroom and how I do my best, my absolute best, to have an all-inclusive classroom. And before I do, please like this channel, share this channel, and get the word out that this guy, this guy is on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ plus teachers and students. Thank you. So I actually started thinking about having an all-inclusive classroom just this past Sunday when our pastor was talking about, is our church an all-inclusive church? You know, that idea of you go to Mexico or wherever and you stand an all-inclusive and everything's included and you just have to sit back and enjoy having everything being taken care of. And I was like, wait a second. I, first of all, like that. And that's what I try to do. That's what I try to do in our classroom every single day day is have an all-inclusive. Now, when I say all-inclusive, I'm not saying my classroom is a resort at all, but I want kids, when they walk in, to go like this. <sighs> and right away, you can see some physical differences in my classroom. For example, we have, we never turn on the overhead lights. It's all just calming, calming, calming lighting. There's always aromatherapy going. It's just it's not too much, but it just smells beautiful and it encourages breath. It's very decluttered. It's very simple. There's not tons of stuff on the walls. It's not like, ah, oh, kindergarten is attacking us. It's very calming. And everything's just has a place. Everything is organized and is calming. It's not rigid. It's just like, welcome, welcome. And there's beautiful little touches like our brave mirror that kids can go to and validate themselves. There's pictures everywhere of them. There's pictures of their families. And it's just one of these places where they, I hope, feel super welcome. And it's also a place where you see pictures of my family and you see things, little touches of who I am. And it just feels very calming and very good to step into our all-inclusive classroom. But I think anybody and I say this very humbly, anybody can have nice lights or aromatherapy or whatever, and that does not give them an all-inclusive wow classroom. That is like one step, having a great physical space. But I think what's fun about our classroom, our super brave classroom, is that we really are setting up a place where we get to personally know kids and design their days and their adventures, we call them, based off of them. And just, we listen to kids and we just love on them. Now, I think it's hard to even talk about loving kids because there's no like metric for that. I can't be like, so I, I love the kids by da da da. No, there's really no metric for love. But that's what you, I know, that's what kids sense when they walk in this classroom, like, wow, this guy really cares about me. This guy loves me and this guy is there for me and really advocating for me. And I think the biggest thing I do besides just give them that safe, awesome, brave space and, and push them academically and all these things that great teachers do, I really daily remind them of who they are. And I always, you know, use that still small voice with them. And I say, you know, you're a great reader, but you know why you're awesome? Because you're you. You know, I really appreciate that you helped clean up the markers, but you know why you're amazing? Because you're you. You know, I really appreciate like how during the Clorox party, you know, we have Clorox parties on Fridays. You know, during the Clorox party, you were going to town on the table and getting it all set before the weekend came. But you know what makes you awesome? Not because you're a helper, but because you're you. And I think that's when kids realize like, wait, I'm included here. And that can be anything from the language we use 
You know, in Spanish, you have like amigo, amiga, and it's very gendered. In our classroom, we always try to use words like persona, like you're a super person, and not just always gendering it and saying, the reason you're awesome is because you're a girl. The reason you're awesome is because you're a boy. The reason you're, no, we try to make it much, 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 much more inclusive with our language. So that's really it. Like that environment piece, that social emotional piece, and really being aware of our words so that it's all inclusive, so that when anybody comes in the room, they're like, yes, this is the place where I wanna be. So if you're a teacher watching this, I want you to leave your ideas below. How do you make your classroom an all-inclusive? And if you're a student watching this, what does your teacher do to make your classroom all-inclusive? Is it all-inclusive? Do you feel saved? Safe? Saved. <laughs> do you feel loved? Do you feel like, wow, my teacher knows me and sees me and believes in me and cares about me? I have value. I have worth. Let me know. Leave a comment below. And I am in no way perfect. I am a work in progress, but I will say I am proud. I put in my time. I put in my 10,000 hours. So I'm going to put in another 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 100,000 hours of teaching because that's how you get better. And every year, it's just like, I almost feel bad for the families before because they're like, oh, that was a great experience. I'm like, oh, you should see this year because it gets better and better and better. Just how we hold kids and how we're there for them. Couldn't do it without my super awesome team. And I'm really proud of all we do. Thank you, all of you, all inclusive people, whether that's in the classroom or wherever you're at. You're awesome. You are enough. You, ugh. Mm, mm. And you know why? Because you're you. That's it. You're included. You're included. And Joel, you're awesome. You're enough. You're special. Own that word, Joel. Just for being who you are. I love you.